Hi guys, Blue Fans here. Right, I do apologise for being a while, and I do apologise that I'm not answering the comments, it's just that I find it very hard at the moment. Right, as you can see by the video, I've done an upgrade again. I upgraded my survival kit pouch, or survival tin, whatever you want to call it. This It's not in here now, it's all empty, as you can see. Yeah, I've upgraded it to one of these tins. It's I won't say it's not, I won't say it's finished, I won't say it's not finished, because, to be honest with you, it never will be. Yeah, I still have the fire tin, the tin, as you can see, same tin. I actually have three of these tins. One of them's coming out, one of them, one kit's being made as we speak, and um, that'll be shown soon. But, I've done a little, I've done a few upgrades. Um... I'm always upgrading my kit. Why? Because basically when I get not bored, but when I use it and I've seen that something's missing from it, I like to upgrade it. There is still something missing from this. For some reason I cannot find it. And that is those atom 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 lights from Polymark products. I was gonna put I'm gonna put one in here. It's not in here at the moment, but I am still putting one in here. And I'm gonna do a nice survival tin design on top. As you can see, it, it oh, that goes to purification tablets. It is quite full, as you can see. Purification tablets. This this is new. This is one of those water bags. I think it's from Wazoo Survival. That's what they call it on when I bought it on the eBay site on eBay. So yeah, I bought five of them, and I've not tested it yet. I still have a couple here to test so we will be testing it out soon as well as I added the polymath ferrocene rod with magnesium and practically new enough everything is exactly the same nothing changes a lot and that, that's the only thing I've added I've added to three things but I've changed it to a bigger tin because I found when I opened this tin it just went Ping! Or it will just sit like that, it just will not close, and every time you push it down, it just won't close. So, I thought it was time to upgrade the tin, and not just that, I can use the tin better than this one here. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've just done that. I've got to go through that again, because I've got to go through it, because I want to put the water bag at the bottom. Or I might keep it on top, but I might put it in one of my foil bags. So, yeah, um, I did start off with a normal size out always, out always tin, but I found that was too small. And I went to one of these, found that was brilliant for start off with, especially when it, fit, it fits in this pouch quite nicely. And we just have the light at the bottom here. But now I have everything all in one. But remember, guys. I do have my survival belt with all my sur and more survival items in this belt. There is a lot more room, as you can see, it's kind of empty. Yeah, and um, so yeah, I do have two survival kits I do carry on me. I do have another ferrocene rod on my hat. This is another one of those um, cobble weave things what I put around my hat. And I do have a toggle ferrocene rod. Ferrocene rod toggle on my hat, so I'm not going to be a hundred percent in the dark. And if I am wearing my belt and I'm in the woods, don't forget I still have my woods kit. So yeah, right. I'm going to leave it here, guys, because it's coming over. It's over four minutes. I will leave a link in the description so you can see what's in here. It is a good kit. I added to it as well, so I might do an upgrade video to this one. I haven't decided yet, I don't think it needs it, personally, and I have decided I'm going to carry this from now on, in honour of my friend. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.